Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching Heading Numbering. On the Format tab, select Bullets and Numbering. The Bullets and Numbering dialog box is displayed. Click on Outline Numbered. Select one of the numbered items. Click Customize. The Customize Outline Numbered List dialog box is displayed. Click the arrow at the bottom of the screen. After the arrow is selected, the dialog box is expanded. In the Level field, with Level 1 selected, click the Link Level to Style field. And if Heading 1 is not selected, scroll down until you see Heading 1 and click on it. It's very important to link the levels to the heading styles. Now you want to format the number in the Number Format field by clicking on the Number Style field where you'll have many more selections. I want one, two, three, so I'm gonna leave it selected here. Here's a tip. Do not delete the field code represented by the number one. Now, click the font button. If you wanna change the characteristics of the number, such as the font style and size, you can do it here. So I want Times Roman, so I'll type TI and select Times New Roman. I also want it to be bold. And for heading one, I want it to be 14 point. I want the color to be automatic. I don't want an underline style and I don't want an underline color. And I'll say okay. The number position and the text position can be changed here. I want my number position to be left. I want it to be aligned at the left margin, so I'm going to leave it at zero. I want my text position to be at 0.5. So I'll click this box and I'll click the up arrow to 0.5. I want to indent it at the same position, 0.5. I want to follow the number with a tab, so I'll leave this defaulted. Now we'll format level two. Click on level two here, and as you can see, it automatically populated level two in this field. We're gonna leave it at this number style. We wanna check the font. Type in TI, click Times New Roman. I want it bold, but this one I want 12 point. I want the font color to be automatic and I'll leave the rest of the characteristics as is and click OK. Again, I want the number position to be left aligned at zero. The tab stop, I want it to be at 0.5 again, and then it at 0.5. I want to make sure that my level two is linked to heading two. If not, click the down arrow and select heading two Again, I want a tab character following the number. And now we'll format level three and four. And when we're all done, we click OK. Now you may need to format the text in the heading style. Go to the Format tab, select Style. The style box is displayed. Now we're gonna format each of the styles. So I'm gonna select Heading 1, and if you don't see your heading style in there, just click here and select All Styles. So with Heading 1 selected, I'm gonna select Modify, I want Times New Roman, 14, bold. I want it automatic. And in the font, Times New Roman, bold, 14. And I want all caps for my heading one. 
I'm going to go into the paragraph group. I want it left aligned, no indentation. If your headings are going to wrap to the next line, you may want a hanging indent. Since my text starts at 0.5, I want the hanging indent to be at 0.5. I want 12 points before and six points after. Say OK and OK again. Now you can modify each of your styles to be the characteristics you like and select apply. And that is the end of this lesson, Heading Numbering.